12 Anti-Aging Myths You Need to Stop Believing Aging is a battle we all fight. There's a lot of information about anti-aging skincare out there, but not all of it is accurate. And, with so many products and tips promising to reverse, or halt the signs of aging, how do you know which ones to actually believe? To help you get started, we rounded up some of the most common anti-aging myths, and bad advice you shouldn't believe, and what you should be doing instead. Number 1. Water can plump up your skin. According to dermatologists, drinking water is essential to your health, but it doesn't actually provide extra moisture to fight the aging of your skin. And bear in mind that overhydration can lead to water intoxication, which can swell your brain cells and disrupt brain function. Stick with the recommended 8 glasses a day, which benefits everything from your organ health to your energy levels. Number 2. Moisturizers prevent aging. While it's important to keep skin hydrated, the notion that moisturizers on their own prevent wrinkles is a false idea. Moisturizing your skin can help retain moisture and keep your skin from looking tired and fatigued, but it doesn't reverse or prevent aging in any way. Number 3. Antioxidants can reverse aging. In the past couple of years, it seems that every publication is quick to promote the benefits of antioxidants, like vitamin C, for example, which is an antioxidant said to be key to repairing free radicals, blocking them from speeding up aging. However, research shows that one would need to consume mass amounts of antioxidants in order to reap any of their benefits. So if you find yourself working hard to introduce more antioxidant heavy foods into your diet, just know that you'll never really consume enough to reverse the signs of aging that are inevitable. Number 4. You should use retinol every day. While retinol is a powerful source of collagen producing vitamin A for your skin, it should probably not be used every day. Retinol is a harsh ingredient that should be avoided during the summer, since it makes your skin more prone to sun damage. Also, when used too often, it may become less effective. If you're really looking to benefit from the effects of this cream, you can begin by applying only a pea-sized amount to the skin, to reduce the possibility of redness and irritation. Number 5. Expensive products are more effective. Good news for frugal shoppers. Yes, you can have a glowing youthful complexion without overspending. Pricing in skincare is sometimes more of a reflection of marketing and branding than of quality. Dermatologists have said repeatedly that price does not equal quality. The best way to choose a skincare product is to look at the type and concentration of ingredients first and the manufacturer second. Number 6. Aging is determined by your genes. You might assume that aging has everything to do with your genetics, but your mom's aging timeline is not necessarily an indicator of yours. The aging of your skin is also determined by the habits you develop during your lifetime. For example, UV light, smoking, lack of exercise, eating unhealthy foods, and stress will accelerate our natural aging process. Number 7. The higher the SPF, the better. Believe it or not, using a sunscreen of SPF 90 is likely no better than using one that's SPF 50. In fact, after SPF 45, there is little additional benefit to higher SPF numbers. If you put on sunscreen perfectly, applying a generous layer to all exposed areas of the body, and reapply it every two hours, SPF 30 should be adequate. Also, wear sunscreen every single day, even during winter, or even if you are indoors all day long. Since now we know that even your office lighting, your phone screen can be harmful. Number 8. You don't need sunscreen if your makeup already has SPF. You know that sunscreen is an essential part of an anti-aging beauty routine. But according to dermatologists, the SPF baked into your foundation doesn't provide enough protection. In fact, unless your foundation with at least SPF 30, and you apply it every two hours, you really shouldn't forego sunscreen. Number 9. Exfoliating daily keeps skin looking youthful. Exfoliation is a must for an anti-aging skincare routine, however, over-exfoliating can cause chronic skin irritation and inflammation, which can lead to accelerated aging. So you should limit this activity to once or twice a week, no matter your age. If you prefer to exfoliate more often, use a mild exfoliant that is designed to be used daily. Number 10. Running or jumping will accelerate signs of aging on your face and jawline. This is nonsense. Not only is exercise incredibly beneficial for your body and overall health, but it is also great for your skin. 
As we exercise, and our body temperature rises, our blood vessels dilate or become wider, which increases the flow of blood to the skin. Over the long term, this causes positive changes to the vasculature that supports the skin, and keeps the skin young and healthy. Number 11. Facial exercises help fight wrinkling. Facial exercises do not prevent your skin from developing wrinkles. In fact, they often do more harm than good. Repeated facial contortions can exacerbate existing wrinkles, and that repetitive exercises may lead to more. As it turns out, there is no exercise that can prevent collagen depletion in your face. Faces sag because of loss of collagen and elastin, and there is no exercise to fix that. Number 12. Don't smile so much, it causes wrinkles. This advice is plain silly. Your skin is going to age as you age, whether you smile or not. The reality is, you're not going to get pronounced smile lines from excessive smiling. The real culprit is your skin's diminishing elasticity. While crow's feet are partly caused by genuine smiles, it's virtually impossible to live life expressionlessly, and it's not fun. So go ahead and smile. If you find this video helpful, please like and share. Don't forget to subscribe and click on the notification bell to get notified. Thank you for watching.